Hi guys, this is a review of the Zoom H1 microphone you can see right here. You can actually hear it right now because the sound is going directly from it. So the sound you hear right now is the sound that this device produces. However, the sound goes from my Rode Lavalier Mac into this recording device because these two microphones, they are stereo microphones and I use them mostly for ambient noise if I need to, but it's not that good when you want to record anything like uh, voice or dialogue. Let's try to do it now. I will dis disattach my road here. And the built-in works right now. So you can hear it right now. That's how it works. That's the type of a noise. <laughs> noise, of course, noise does produce noise. It catches everything they can get. So personally, I don't prefer using it for voice. But if you do need some ambient noise or just some reference uh, sound, these ones it, it produces some some nice decent quality sound you may actually use as well so let's try to change it again. now you can hear my uh microphone the level ear microphone not the zoom so i'll just tell you a couple of thoughts i have about this product this review of course is not very technical one i will just tell you my uh, usability impression of this product a lightweight, a very lightweight construction, which is good. Whenever you use these microphones and there is any kind of wind around or you scratch the construction, you touch it, uh, you get a lot of distortions, it gets inside of this stuff. So whenever you use this microphone, try to avoid touching the construction at all because all of the sound will get inside will spoil the quality so there is input level you may change the power of the amplifier so you may change the amplification level the, what the amplifier gets from this line in uh, I personally use around 75 did not get very technical with that but uh, most people use it that way just make sure that your levels do not reach the higher threshold do not reach zero they should be around minus six because if you hit the upper threshold it will be looking like like this you see your sound will uh, get clogged on the top and uh, will not sound actually very nice and if this input level is too high like about 100 your sound will get distorted uh, of course because if you do hit this higher threshold like this then you get this recording peak indicator here indicating that your sound gets distorted because of this input level threshold you have uh, regular control buttons play rewind you can delete your recordings from this device you may put it on hold you may switch it on there is usb out you may use it to transfer your recordings it will not charge your microphone because this mic uses regular aa batteries regular batteries i use here I will open this one okay it's hard it's hard to open Just th yes I managed that so I use a regular battery here a, a battery you may use a rechargeable ones doesn't matter and there are a couple of controls here which I personally rarely rarely use so you may use the wave audio or the lossy mp3 I prefer not using mp3 because why why would I I use the best possible quality I can get you have automatic level so if it's on this thing the input level is automatic however I prefer not using it I prefer manual because I prefer more control over what I'm using because automatic level will distort in some cases your audio you may try and do it yourself it may work for you but hasn't worked for me so far and as well the low cut cuts the noise cuts the lower threshold noises you may get but it changes the quality as well because it may cut accidentally some of the voices that you do need so i prefer recording my audio with low cut off and then in case i need any kind of a low cut i can do it in any kind of editing program not that big of a deal and one extra feature there is in this microphone this recording device is this one you may actually listen to your recordings if you want to so it gives you some reference over the recordings that you get because it's like recording one recording two recording number three and you are not actually sure what it is what it was so in case you need it you may listen to it 
and you may connect your earphones as well and listen to them and there is this volume control here just as a reference speaker you have it here and this headphone jack that is in here may be actually used with this cable that is 3.5 millimeter jack from both ends you put it in here and you put the other one into your camera so the sound that you're recording from this device goes directly into your camera and may be used as a microphone for the camera however whenever you do this whenever you do this this way the quality will not be as high as when you record directly onto this device if you give it as a reference if you give it just as a headphone it goes through this device into the camera the quality will be always lower than than whenever you record it directly into the zoom h1 so one of the things to consider apart from that a very nice lightweight cheap cheap semi-professional recorder you may get that also looks quite nice and may fit into your pocket comes with accessories there are different packages you may find on amazon may come with accessories may not mine came with some of them like this one and there is a fur furry thing you may put in here mostly i don't use them but i think whenever there is a windy weather and you want to use it outside may be quite useful so this was it guys, a review of Zoom H1 microphone. Stay in touch.